Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at the Cray booth at SC17 in Denver, Colorado. And I'm here with Dr. O from KISTI, and that's the Korean Institute for Science and Technology. Okay, so it's Dr. O, um, thanks for coming. Welcome to Denver, but let's start at the beginning. Who is KISTI? What do you guys do? Uh, actually, KISTI is short for Korea Institute of Science and Technology Information. Uh, yes, and so we collect uh, information on science and technology and then we provide uh, information service to uh, users in Korea. That is one thing. And the other is a supercomputing service. Actually, we uh, uh, provide a supercomputing service and also a network. Yes, so that is a, very, a big thing of a uh, KISTI. Well, Dr. Oh, I understand that KISTI just uh, did a contract to acquire a new supercomputer built by Cray. Uh, this will be the biggest machine in South Korea, from what I understand. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, actually, this is our uh, actually fifth uh, supercomputer of uh, KISTI. So our current system is a fourth supercomputer. So our new supercomputer size is uh, 25.7 petaflops. So our uh, system is consists of uh, two uh, parts. I mean, two parts. So one part, the main computing node, is consist of uh, Xeon Pi, Intel Xeon Pi, and another uh, part is uh, CPU only nodes with uh, Intel Skylake processors, or those connected by uh, Intel or Omnipath networks. And then we also have uh, bus buffers to support data intensive computing. So Dr. O, you mentioned some details. I'd like to get a little double click on this a little bit. This is a Cray CS500 system, right? And uh, from what I can see here, um, it's got Xeon Phi's and in, uh, Intel scalable processors and all this good stuff, Omnipath fabric. Uh, I wanted to ask you about that. What was it that you liked about this architecture for your applications? Oh, uh, you know, actually, uh, many users are familiar with uh, Intel CPUs. So, you know, the Xeon Pi processor is compatible with uh, Intel Xeon processors. That is one good thing. So, uh, so easier to program. Uh, that is very good. And uh, we also have uh, uh, many uh, nodes for the large scale simulations. That is a very good thing. So I think, uh, I hope many uh, software will scale over up to our uh, new supercomputers size. Can I ask you a little more about the applications you're running? Is it CFD or what is it? Yes. The typical uh, application was uh, molecular modeling, like uh, electronic structure calculations, molecular dynamic simulation, and uh, computation of fluid dynamics, atmospheric uh, modeling. That was a typical application area. Now, actually, we want to also focus on machine learning. There will be a new, uh, I mean, application area we want to focus. So that's why we uh, uh, select, I mean, uh, add uh, bus buffers in our system. First buffers, cool, yeah. cool. Well, kind of a wrap-up question here, Dr. O. Why do you think that supercomputing and HPC is so important for the nation of South Korea? Oh, okay. Actually, there are many computation science in Korea, so we have to support their research. That is a, a one thing. And, and nationally, there are many important problems which needs the computational powers, so we have to provide computing powers. So that is a very two things we have to focus on and we have to support. Okay. Thanks for sharing this with us today and congratulations on the biggest machine in Korea. So wonderful. Great job. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you very much.